What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I've got some very exciting news for you guys regarding Advanced Warfare. And I feel like this couldn't come at a better time. Like, I feel like right now, everybody, including myself, is very, very hyped up about Black Ops 3, and we are still so far from the release of that game. So I'm glad that Sledgehammer is still stirring up the pot, they're still giving us new stuff to be excited about, and giving us, you know, kind of things to hold us over until the end of this game. So, uh, anyway, you guys know, like, the, um, the third Elite variant rumors and hints and stuff we've seen over the past month and a half or so, those have finally been confirmed. So check out this tweet right here that Sledgehammer Games just put up earlier this afternoon. They said, incoming, more details tomorrow. On the left side of this image, it says, coming soon, SAC 3 non-akimbo variants. Wow, that's pretty epic, right? So uh, that's essentially going to be a vector. Like, that looks exactly like a vector right there. I think it's going to handle like the vector. And that's going to be pretty much like getting a brand new SMG, which is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to test that thing out. Now, uh, on the right side of the image, you guys ready for this? Boom. Coming soon, Royalty Elite Variant. So this is kind of like that third premium tier elite that we've been hearing about for quite some time now. You guys can see that it's the purple royalty camo, kind of like the royalty, you know, like character loadout or whatever it is, which is awesome. I'm assuming all of the royalty elites are going to look like that. And then actually right here, you guys can see, that's a KF-5. We didn't know a KF-5 was going to be one of the royalty weapons. So we definitely know there's going to be a KF-5. We also definitely know there's going to be an HBRA-3. That was just confirmed by Condry's tweet a couple of days ago. And then also, both the Moors and the AK-12 have been hinted towards in the past. So it looks like we're getting at least four new royalty elite weapons. We're probably going to get more than that. Are they going to do every single primary in the game? They could. I'm not sure, though. You know, we'll have to wait and see. I'd actually be interested to see what you guys have to say about that. Like, which ones you guys would like to bring back as a royalty elite. We set up a poll over on It's All Viral. You guys can see it right here. That you can just go over there. You can just, you know, click the upvote arrow on which one you want. And we'll see what the community thinks. But right now, it looks like the ASM1 is winning. And I was, just, I was thinking to myself, like... What could they possibly do to the ASM-1 to make it better than the Speakeasy? Like, the Speakeasy already has increased fire rate and a round drum mag. Like, how can you make it any better than that? We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, there you guys have it. There's new SAC-3 singular variants coming to Advanced Warfare, which is very exciting. There are new Royalty Elite weapons that are, like, the top of the top, cream of the crop elites. They're going to be, like, probably the best weapon in the game, I'm assuming. Uh, and we're going to get more information about this tomorrow. So, when that information does come out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to uh, seeing you guys tomorrow. And check out these two videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.